All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is, it's interesting outside. Um, yeah, honestly, we're closing in on a 50 mile week, but that means today needs to be a big day. So I'm headed out for, I'm hoping to do 19. I don't really know. There's a couple factors, right? There's one, I've been having some weird kind of like pain in my right calf. So I'm gonna be managing that. Um, and also, I don't know if the trails are gonna be like completely flooded. So we'll go as far as we can and we'll just kind of keep rolling, right? Um, it's cold, it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know, maybe like one or two degrees Celsius. Um, and it's gonna rain the whole time. So three hours of cold and wet, um, at least. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm pretty well dressed. I feel okay going into it. My calf doesn't feel too bad, but I feel it for sure. Um, so yeah, join me on this Sunday long run and we'll go as far as we can. I'm in the Nike Zoom Fly 3s. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'll check in a couple times and we'll see. <laughs> oh, man. I can do this with my eyes closed. One point eight in and I already went like four foot deep in water. I don't know. Still going. Makes me go quicker. I haven't seen too many people. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for F to you like John Cena. Putting blood on the brand new beamer. Trying to earn eight stripes like Adidas. You get cold when you ride with the heater. It'll turn you to a dog like a keto. And expose to a cat like a cheetah. They smoke my partner like grief. It's just about five miles in. I've been doing honestly more like 840s, I feel like. Kind of quick just to stay warm. Um, I stopped to pee just now. And when I stopped, it felt amazing. When I started going, man. My leg, my knee, my upper calf thing just feels like fire. But uh, I don't know, aside from that, we got about four and a half miles out. So at least the turnaround point is pretty far away. If I can do two of these, I'd be pretty happy. Um, it's cold, it's wet. Just kind of picking moments where I get into the zone and once I'm in the zone, I try to stay comfortable there. So, we'll keep going. Loving it. Alright, 9.72 in. We're doing about 8.20, an hour and 26 minutes. Uh, just took my second gel. Honestly, today's kind of a battle. And like, I'm here for it. But uh, I think this will be my last check-in. Right now, I honestly just gotta work on kind of battling with today. And I'll shoot a little bit more. But then we'll just check in back at the apartment and we'll see how this goes, because I still got I still got a lot ahead of me. And uh, yeah, <coughs> we're cruising, but we're cold, we're wet, my knee kind of hurts, but like, let's battle this and let's do it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> next time you see me, I'll have answers for you. <laughs> All right, Sunday morning, still going.
This is a perfect vanilla latte. Mmm, oat milk. So good. So good. Okay, so as you can see, we are back in the apartment. I am comfortable. I am not out in the rain any longer. We're gonna talk about the 17.19 miler. I'm gonna talk about why it was one of my best runs ever. I'm gonna talk about why it was one of my hardest runs ever. And then I'm gonna tell you about why it's now Friday that I'm filming this and I have not uploaded anything since this 17 miler last Sunday. But first, why was this my best 17 miler ever? This is one of my best workouts ever. And that's, I mean, that's an easy one because you can look at the stats, right? And this is the longest distance I've ever averaged under nine minute mile pace, which my ultimate goal for this year is that 330 full marathon. So being able to do a 17 miler at just over 830, 836 average pace while getting stronger throughout in terms of splits was a huge positive for me. And I thought in like on top of that, like my effort, I did not feel like I was cardio wise, like at all getting pushing myself really to a state of fatigue. The pace didn't seem that bad. I didn't feel like any cramps were coming. I felt pretty calm, cool, and collected and like probably could have kept going in terms of anything but my right knee slash upper calf thing. We're gonna get to that. Third fastest 20 miler, 20 miler, good one, Kyle. Third fastest 20K, third fastest 10 miler, and third fastest half marathon, all while just trying to get a good workout in, in the rain, mid 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So like just over, maybe that's like three degrees Celsius. And in a really constant rain, my feet were soaked. I honestly, like it was a battle, which leads me into why this was one of my hardest workouts I've ever done. The conditions were relatively miserable. Now I understand this is running and saying things about the weather, like oh, it's so hot or it's so cold or it's so wet or it's so dry. Like those, those are just complaints about an activity that I'm choosing to do. I understand that. But if I had to pick one type of environment that I dislike the most, it's gonna be that just over freezing temperatures with a consistent rain. And it's been raining the previous like 12 hours. So you're going to get soaked. So that in itself, for me was a real battle. On top of that, my upper calf slash outside of my knee, my right knee has been kind of giving me this almost like, almost like a nerve pain. Like it's not, it's really weird. It's not, it's a really weird pain and it's really kind of random. And as I was getting into this run, I really didn't feel it much for the first couple miles, the first five, six miles. And then all of a sudden piercing down the outside of my hamstring, finishing off kind of at that spot behind, on the outside behind my knee. And it was just consistent, man. Like it, that's honestly why this workout was titled, this was a battle because I really felt like I was battling against a lot of things but also like really wanted to get the workout in. Like I know that's stupid in terms of like, if you have an injury, you should listen to your body. But at the same time, I feel like this goes hand in hand with why we run. Like I get, I, I, I accept, I signed the contract that what I do and what I am passionate about causes constant suffering. This is voluntary, I'm about it. And so, this was a huge battle and one of the hardest workouts I've ever done. And it hurt, man. <laughs> like it really freaking hurt, but I'm really glad I got it done. Like I, I, I feel like I'm a better, a stronger runner. I was going to say person, but I, don't, I think that's going a little bit far here. Um, but I think I'm a stronger runner for just getting this one done, which leads me into the final little portion of this video. And that is going to be, you know, I've been resting. I, I was, I woke up on Monday after the 17 miler on Sunday and I could like barely put any um, like lateral movement slash weight on my right knee. So I instantly kind of went into rice mode, right? I was like, oh, okay, I'm resting. I'm um, icing, I'm compression and I'm elevating. Like do these things constantly. I've been really just kind of maintaining and 
kickstarting, you know, really trying to get through any sort of a recovery process. And today I even booked an appointment. It's really far out and I don't, and I'm going to have to try to figure something out in terms of seeing a doctor sooner. But yeah, it's just like one of those pains that in my gut, it's telling me it's like, it's, it's not good. Um, who knows that I guess I am not a doctor, so I can only trust my gut and, you know, go with, go with what that is telling me. But I will say I am feeling loads better i like outside the apartment today um just kind of on a little section of the sidewalk i kind of just you know jog 10 feet stop how does that feel okay no pain jog 12 feet okay no pain and then came back up to the apartment literally right before filming this and so like i'm feeling it's feeling much better but i'm really concerned that if i do go too far um i'm gonna start really getting that knee pain again so what we can do is continue to hit the rice system and I'm going to be implementing, you know, on Sunday, I'm going to try one mile and like, I'm, it's literally going to be around the apartment complex. If at any point I'm feeling some real pain after giving it a week of almost complete rest, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to try to get in to see a doctor even sooner. So this kills some of my annual goals of say 2000 miles for the year. But like I said at the beginning, like if I run 1800, still more than last year, it's still progress. We're still getting better and we are going to keep going. Overall mentality, that is the mantra for me for the year, it is keep going. You know, whatever your goals are, whatever it is, just keep, just get better. Just, just focus on the little baby steps that are going to make you better. That is going to wrap up this video. I have been rambling on long enough. It's been over a week since I've uploaded, which is weird for me so far this year. A little bit of a down funk, but hopefully this video gets you a little bit more amped up for what is to come. We will be recovering and seeing how things go uh, if you if you enjoyed the video, if you stuck around to the end, thank you. Please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And as always, enjoy the run out there, people. I'll see you in the next video. Keep going. I'm going to finish my latte. Because it's probably about the perfect temperature now. It was way too hot.